what Fortnite needs to fix and how it can save itself in 2020. Fortnite has issues from the start, like overpowered items and bugs. But in 2020, things have improved a lot, considering they're not adding any insane weapons anymore. There are still some major things Fortnite needs to add in their game and major things that they need to be removed. The first thing I want to talk about in this video are customizable things like an FOV slider. This basically lets you see more of the game. How come every big game has one of these and then Fortnite doesn't? We especially PC players have been asking for an FOV slider for like 2 years now. We did use stretch res once but Epic took it out due to them thinking players have an unfair advantage in the World Cup. Another thing they should add are customizable crosshairs. We've been stuck with the huge white crosshairs that we can't get around unless you completely turn off your crosshair. Some people might not have a problem with this but some people know the blooming guns in Fortnite and don't need all that. Besides, many of us just want to change the colors to fit our personal preferences. Now this next one is the biggest problem Fortnite has since the launch of chapter 2. That's not having enough updates. The only two big things when I added on top of my head I can think of are cross pads and charged shotguns in the loot pool. Now fine. They are pretty fun and balanced, why does it take half a season to make something new? When last chapter they added something new for every one or two weeks. If I gave you a minute, you would have named at least 20 items they added last chapter, and you probably won't even name 10 this chapter. Not just that, but Epic needs to fix how many live events they have. Yeah, they got the new concert mode going on, but Epic only gave us 3 live events for the last couple of seasons. Now the black hole one was a disaster. Now, I'm gonna give him props for the massive success of the Travis Scott event. In my opinion, it's by far the best live event they made. After that, there wasn't a live event up to this day. I'm uploading this. It's been like a season and a half since the last one. Next, the platforms in Fortnite are also very messed up. We ain't even gonna talk about mobile because I'd assume you know what happened. Now controller aim assist on PC is still OP. Two years of complaining and Epic still think it's balanced. Of course PC players have their whole arm to aim and all, but to hit every shot midair is OP any way you put it. Even with all Epic saying that they're keeping things balanced, how come they still don't add an Epic and reset sensitivity for mouse and keyboard? Controllers have full control over being able to pick a fast sense for building, low for aiming, and high for editing. Now if you have a low sense on mouse and keyboard, you will have to a hard time editing or turning your character around very fast because you have a low sense for more accurate aim. Now let me talk about the map. In 2020, the Fortnite map isn't bad. It's boring, but not bad. First of all, all the hotspot locations with bosses and bots are trash. Like let's say you land caddy. It's so annoying not finding a gun and someone else finding one and killing you. With the boss or the boss herself were making you weak. I suggest that Epic nerf the bot damage in the beginning because you really underestimate how powerful these bots are. It's pure chaos if you think about it. Fortnite also needs to fix their matchmaking system. I said this in multiple other vids and I will say it again. Skill based matchmaking is not good for the game. It makes you queue up with sweats and you never queue up with the little Jonesy. Remember that feeling? It's so fun just trying to kill noobs when it was the last player standing. Isn't Arena the perfect match if you want to face sweats and stuff? Why weren't one of the most fun things about Fortnite in the early season when you can just implement the same thing on Arena and take it out in normal games? Something that the fans wanted in Fortnite for a long time is customizable characters. Now they do give us options like selectable styles, but we've been asking for things like customizable hats for a long time. Let's say you buy a hat for like 200 V-Bucks, not like how you would a backbling. That would be really convenient if you really want it. Now for competitive things, I want Epic to change or having console and PC players in the same lobby. The aim assist is too strong in one hand and the mouse and keyboard is too good on the other. These platforms can't even function together due to how many issues it can cause especially if there's an FPS difference. Most competitive games separate their PC and console lobbies to avoid unbalanced things that would come with it. Now there are a ton of issues that need to be fixed but not many people have a solution for 
like how Fortnite can face sweats. The skill gap has gotten way better, and people are suggesting removing turbo building so that sweats can't just click and hold a button to build a big tower. Now this might seem fine on paper, but people are definitely gonna get mad over this because of how convenient it is just to click and hold a button. Another thing is that no one really knows how to fix are bugs like the umbrella glitch or other map glitches. Fortnite has been having s the same glitches since like a year ago and I know they're trying to fix them but when? Some other issues like hackers and stream snipers are unavoidable basically in any game but stream snipers in Fortnite are so bad that many streams had to hide their screen while joining a game. Some quit because of Epic did add a high ETA thingy though so that's good for streamers. You think it's another thing that's basically when you purposely run into another player since you know where they're landing. This is very really prevalent in Fortnite tournaments because of the high amount of mobility and being able to know by streaming or Twitter. In conclusion, Fortnite did improve a lot of their issues and I would say they're still going in the right path. The main thing they have to do though is add more updates and they should have a stable fan base for years on. If you want to learn more about gaming or you just want to know more about games, subscribe. I post videos weekly and you'll be missing out on some things you might want to know about gaming. Thanks for watching and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.